Hi everybody, this is Sam with Python Basics and we are going to be working more with functions and more specifically we are going to be learning about the return keyword and what the return keyword is used for is to actually kind of create turn your function into something because right now we've learned how to take something in and print it to the screen, right? So the image just goes and we give it a number and it comes out. So now, let's change this a little bit. So, alright. Now at first, this is going to look like just did the same thing so four comes out well let's go through and actually take a look at this so right now this just has something come out to the screen nothing's created it does not return anything so that's the way you need to think about this with with only print just it's being shown with return it's being created that's how you need to think about it so all right Everybody knows what 4 times 2 is, right? So, alright. Alright, now like I've said before, Python will always tell you where you screw up. So, type error. None type. And in Python, none, right there, none, I just spread this out a little bit, you could see none type. Alright, that just means you didn't create anything because you didn't use return. So now, now let's check out our return function. num four times two. Lo and behold, eight. Four times two is eight. So what this is right here is we're creating something because functions are basically just a shortcut for little snippets of program that you don't want to have to write again or more specifically or more accurately you're gonna split up a project amongst several several programmers so one's gonna do one thing and then they're gonna build it in small pieces and then pass it on so somebody's gonna take that and do something else to it and this is how you do it you create something with a function and then you do something with it later. So now we did that with a number. Now let's do something with a string. It's all right. Uh, let's just say word. I'll just keep this real simple. Now, all right. We'll touch on this in a second. Um, so we can remember. Okay. Turn string. So, and this is just to remind you what needs to go in there a string. Alright, so we're going to put my name. Okay, lo and behold, this comes out. Now, you might say, well, this isn't a string. This is the more accurate way. If you want something to happen very pretty and still now watch 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 Python's gonna count how many parentheses so right here it highlighted we haven't talked about this so it's only highlighting that this is closed so I need another parenthesis lo and behold close the whole thing now I hit enter and BAM now it comes out nice and pretty now now let's do something right here that make a new definition that we're going to do something to the string and create something create a second part because this is just lo and behold taking in something and printing it out whoop de doo word ed so take in the string return string now, how do we get add things to each other? Just use a plus sign. This is called concatenate. So, all right. Now, so I have a string, 
and I want to add another string to it. Let's use double. We'll get into the single in a minute or a while later. So all right, word. Let's make it pretty. Word ed. Um, what is it? How about jumped? Jump. It's a string. It's got to have. I almost forgot. Jump. I got my one, one round, second round, boom, jumped. So I took in information, and of course, the, this is just us using this because we're the programmer and the end user. So, of course, when you get more sophisticated, you don't want the user to have to know to put around uh, quotation marks, and we'll deal with that later. But since I created something with this, we use the return, and then I can do something to it later. So that is our return keyword and how you create, actually begin to create something with a function. So hope you guys got something out of this. Uh, click the subscribe button and we'll see you next time. Thanks.